Let's look back at the highlights and how our champion was crowned. A brilliant initial launch from Cameron Daz there. Look, appeared to get him alongside with Yefe Ye, but eventually Ye would get back into the race before we even reached turn at number one as we charged down towards the first corner. In the background, Andreas Esner would go into third place. Dunner dropping back behind him and Manuel Maldonado as well as the cars powered their way through at turn number three on the opening lap. There were some moves on the first lap. No surprise that one of them was from Louis Foster. He going down the inside of St. Maloney there to head up in towards eighth place. Maldonado would come under pressure throughout the duration of the race from multiple race winner Lucas Dunner, but was able to hold on throughout the race. Nicholas Cruton tried to do the same on Glenn Van Berla, couldn't quite get through either though. As Andreas Esner, who has had difficulties in the middle part of the season, but he looks to be ending on a high as he was in third place and extending his gap over Manuel Maldonado. There's Glenn Van Berla, he had to put up with a lot of pressure in this race. But out front, no one can keep up with Yefeye. 5.6 seconds clear from the rest of the field. He would round the final corner and he would crown himself the seventh champion of Euro Formula Open Crypto Tower Racing in their first year on the top step.